Well, tonight we're hearing from the president of the University of Tennessee and our local lawmakers about the state of the university itself. Now, here are some of the highlights. Let's first talk about the graduation increase here. Another one is the retention is at 80 percent here. And then this year, UT had the lowest uh, tuition increase in 30 years. But today's address didn't avoid some controversial issues as well. New here at 11 WATE 6 on your sides, Haley Holloway explains. That this place is on the right track when it comes to performance. And that's just about all UT President Joe DiPietro wanted to talk about in the inaugural State of the University, UT's accomplishments. But do successes really reflect the state of UT? In light of a year of controversies grabbing national attention, from the Lady Vols controversy to the war on Christmas to last week's sexual assault lawsuit, we pressed the president for what the university is doing to change. I would argue that if you take a look at how we're performing, we're performing at a very high level. And while it's disappointing that we've had these distractions, that, as you say, have drawn national attention. The fact of the matter, this university is operating in a way from the standpoint of its core mission. Well, even though President DiPietro would rather focus on the university's successes, some of those controversies have ended up here in Nashville at the Capitol, where lawmakers have gotten involved. You don't want to have to bring legislation unless you have to. And unfortunately, this year there's had to be some legislation brought. And in spite of that legislation, including a bill to cut funding for the Office of Diversity, where some of that drama comes from, State Senator Becky Duncan Massey agrees with President DiPietro and thinks the problems the university is experiencing need to be explored before she and fellow lawmakers step in. Do an analysis of it. What's working, what's not, where are there duplicate effort? We've had our controversies. But the heart and soul of this institution around educating and discovering and connecting is very, very strong and doing a great job. In Nashville, Haley Holloway, WATE 6 on your side. Another topic of controversy has been whether or not UT will get on board with Haslam's plan to outsource. Now, President DiPietro did say he had a meeting about that today, but that he hasn't made a decision one way or another.